Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we would like to share how to construct a Nova table by using calculator. Firstly, press on mode, mode again until we see the SD function. Press on 1. Let's first enter the values for treatment X. We have 2, press on M plus, 4, press on M plus, 3, M plus. Press on AC and followed by shift 2. We need population standard deviation, that is 2. Press on square to get variance and we times all together 3 observations for treatment X. So let's press on 3, press on equal, followed by shift recall, and we store this value to A. Next, let's move on to treatment Y. Again, press on mode, mode again, until we see SD function 1. Enter the values 5, M plus 7, M plus 5, M plus 4, M plus 6, M plus. Press on AC, shift 2, we need population standard deviation, 2, square to get variance, times all together 5 observations, press on equal, followed by shift recall, and we store to B. The last treatment, again, mode mode 1, values 2, M plus 5, M plus 3, M plus 5, M plus, AC, shift 2, 2, square, times all together 4 observations for this time. Press on equal, shift, recall, store to C. And we can now determine the sum of square error. Very simple. Press alphabet A plus alphabet B plus alphabet C. Press on equal, obtain the correct value. Next, let's determine the sum of square total. Press on mode, mode as D, enter whatever values that we have. We have 2, M plus 4, M plus 3, M plus, and so for the rest of the values. All together, we have 12 observations. Press on AC, shift 2 again, population standard deviation, 2, square, times 12 observations in total. Press on equal, and we obtain the sum of square total. Once we obtain these two values, the rest of the values can be obtain easily. For example, to obtain the sum of square treatment, take the total value that is 26.25 minus the error that is 13.95. Press on equal, obtain correct value. For the degree of freedom for the treatment, since we have three treatments, minus one, obtain two. And for the degree of freedom for the total, since we have 12 observations in total, minus one, we obtain 11. Then then take 11 minus 2, obtain the degree of freedom for the error. To determine the mean square for the treatment, let's take the sum of squares for the treatment that is 12.3 divided by the degree of freedom that is 2. Press on equal, obtain the correct value. On the other hand, to obtain the mean square error, take the sum of square error that is 13.95 divided by the corresponding degree of freedom that is 9. Press on equal, obtain the correct value. And we can now obtain the test statistic by taking the mean square treatment, that is 6.15, divided by the mean square error, that is 1.55. Press on equal, obtain the correct test statistic. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.